Hey guys, what's up? It says that I can't rotate my phone while recording. Good to know. Um, happy Sunday. I am very clearly in my Sunday best <laughs> right now, just like chillaxing um, and being in that state all day long. Super chill. Um, but I've actually been sitting here, full disclosure, for the past few minutes deciding like, what am I going to say? How am I going to say this? Um, what is my message? You know, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to shoot from the cuff because I'm just feeling really called to share this today. And, um, long story short, I got up this morning and I felt like I had done unlimited amount of ab exercises this morning. I was like, oh my gosh, my abs feel bomb. Like I am, you know, felt like I worked out for like 18 days straight. Full disclosure, haven't, haven't done that. Okay. So other side of thing that piece of information I want to share with you is yes, I woke up feeling like my abs were on fire. So sore, like even to the touch. Um, number one, number two, I am on the last two days. So like Monday and Tuesday will be the last days of my period. And if we are new friends, we have never met before. Hi, Shannon here. Nice to meet you. Thanks for joining. Um, I struggle with uh, stage four endometriosis as well as polycystic ovaries. So the real fun side of that said laden with sarcasm and cynicism is that um, my periods are really fun. Not at all. Again, sarcasm, super sarcastic, um, which means that typically the first three to five days of my period are a bitch, like a super bitch. They're terrible. And I don't really know who to blame more, the endometriosis or the polycystic ovaries, but I'll just keep them together. Um, and so it makes for extreme amount of pain, lack of sleep, super lethargic, tired, bitchy, just really, you know, not a fun time. So, as I said, I'm nearing the end of it. Woo! Praise Jesus, hallelujah. Um, and starting to feel better, right? And I have just, uh, if you're new again, hi, nice to meet you. One of the ways I've tried to help with my endometriosis was I had laparoscopy. And um, another side effect of that is we struggle with infertility. But with the laparoscopy, they went in, tried to like clear out all the cobwebs, I like to call them, of the endometriosis, and tried to make the periods, the cramping, the whole nine better. Um, that really didn't work for me. So if you're like me, I'm sorry that that happened to you. I'm sorry that that's your situation, but I relate to you. I feel you. I love you so much. Heart here. Totally didn't plan this, by the way. Heart for you. Um, the other side of that is I have tried acupuncture, I've tried changing my diet, the whole nine, and um, none of those things have really taken the pain away, right? It's just there. And it sucks. Things have helped. Acupuncture has helped a whole lot. Um, using essential oils has helped a lot. Um, but it doesn't make the pain go away, right? So for the first three days, I am sure fire guaranteed shit ton of pain. I have tried also not using a heating pad. Some people have suggested that with the inflammation of endometriosis, the heat amplifies it. That proved to be straight up torturous for me. It was like, why am I doing this? This is making me feel worse. I want to feel better. I have to work. I have a full-time job. Like, I need to function. So going back to the beginning of my story when I woke up this morning and I had you know, that feeling like, wow, I felt like I did a bazillion sit-ups, but I didn't. Um, one of the things that I noticed is because I use a heating pad, um, I can't feel the heat. So I don't know if you're like me, but I can't feel it, right? I can feel that it like um, helps to lessen the pain, but I can't feel if it's like burning me or bruising me. And so... I got in the shower this morning and I was like, damn, like this is just so sore. And I realized it's from the heating pad. Yes, this happens to me every month. No, I'm not asking you to feel sorry for me. But I thought to myself, there's someone out there like me. Somebody who feels like they're a freak. They don't understand. They are in this place where they hate their body. And it just makes them feel so awful about themselves. I wanted to connect, right? I wanted you to know that you're not alone. I wanted you to know that I get you. And no, I don't want people to ask me, you know, are you okay? It's just my preference, right? I just don't want that. But I want to be able to connect with people that are like me and who have maybe been in that place like I have been in, where you feel like you're broken, there's something wrong with you. And um, you're not. And you are entitled to whatever feelings you want to have about it, 
but you are not alone. And so I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what it looks like for somebody who has that heating pad, wears it to deal with the pain, and full disclosure, I'm really bloated right now because of the endometriosis. So here's what it looks like. This is, if you can see, there's bruising all down here, and there are uh, scabs from where it is, it's been burned. And this is the amount of bloat that you feel like, the endometriosis and PCOS, I guess, on your period. And if you're watching this and you're thinking, wow, that's too much, you know, I'm sorry, but this is just the truth. These are the brass tacks of it. Doesn't feel good, feels really sore. And I thought to myself, as I said, like, what do I say when I go live? But I just knew I wanted to share it and I wanted to speak on it. And it's why I promote infertility sucks. You don't. If you happen to be somebody who struggles with symptoms of PCOS or endometriosis that are attributing towards your infertility. And I just thought, you know what? I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm just going to go live. I'm just going to be raw about it. I just want to share about it. Because if there's someone like me out there who feels like they're wrong, they're going through this alone, I want you to know, sister to sister or brother to sister, because for anybody that struggles with symptoms of infertility, it's not just female, it's male and female. I want you to know you're not alone. In fact, I met someone yesterday, a brand new person, that as you know, she's, we're talking, what do you do, I'm sharing, and they happened to reveal to me that they were just recently diagnosed with PCOS. And just having that conversation with someone where they felt heard, they felt, you know, not alone, and the, the, the honesty and, and the humility that they had to entrust in me, to share that with me, was everything. But I also felt, I remember what it was like to feel that way, like nobody understood. You know, where I called, you know, my family, and it was like, oh, I don't know where this came from, and you feel alone. So I came live today. And I titled it a love letter to anybody who struggles with symptoms related to infertility because that's just what I felt on my heart, right? May not be the right thing. Some people may be out there saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe she shared that. I can't believe she's talking about that. I can't believe she showed her stomach in those burns or stop using a heating pad, dummy. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. So yes, if you're out there and you're watching this, and you feel alone, this is all I wanted to do. I just wanted to come live, and I just wanted to say, from my heart to your heart, you're not alone. You are the only person that knows what it feels like to go through your struggle day in and day out. You are the only person that knows what it feels like to do the things that make you feel better, that comfort you, or help you in that moment to get through it, to see another day, to have to struggle through another fucking period, because it sucks. I get it. I feel you. You're not alone. All right, guys, thank you so much for signing on. I love you as always. My heart, again, totally ironic and happenstance that I wore this t-shirt, is always with you. Post in the comments below. Private message me if you have any questions or you just want to feel heard and have somebody to talk to. My heart, again, is always with you. With you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great weekend and a fantastic, magical week, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Bye.